Khadija Ismailova, freelance investigative journalist and Radio Liberty reporter, expressed her gratitude to members of the public and journalists who have demonstrated solidarity with her in the face of the appalling smear campaign against her. I do not believe in the sincerity of the ruling establishment, which has deflected responsibility from its own actions by the vicious video linked to my private life, Ismailova said in the event held at IRFS to support the journalists. According to her, some pro-governmental media outlets have refused to join the campaign aimed at discrediting her. Local and international organizations, embassies in Baku, have supported Ismailova. The Council of Europe and the OSCE have not, which has been a source of regret. Ismailova noted that she does not intend to leave Azerbaijan and will continue her investigations of corruption surrounding the president's dealings. I will only leave for a week to attend three conferences, she said. The journalist is currently working on three investigations into the family's business. One of them is about Flag Square. She reiterated that she had received threats demanding her to stop her investigations. After that, the ruling party newspaper in Azerbaijan published an article to discredit her and the video was posted on the Internet. Ismailova said that she is not embarrassed about her private life. May those who interfere in other people's bedrooms, those who deprive the citizens of a slice of bread to build themselves villas, may they feel the shame. Mehman Aliyev, director of Tran News Agency, believes that the blackmail against Ismailova was organized on a political order. Any decision against a journalist is a political one and can only be made in the president's office, he said. RFS director Amin Hussein reminded people that the journalist's life is in danger and he spoke about his forensic technical investigation into the video hosting, saying that the campaign was implemented with great professionalism. Human rights defender Arzu Abdullayeva said that an appeal has been issued to call up the president in Hamaliyev to ensure the sanctity of personal life. The appeal has been signed by 30 popular journalists and public figures. During the event, a decision was made to establish a public coordination group to defend Ismailova's rights and to prevent further provocations of this kind. A preventive response group has been formed under the leadership of Shafala Chibanaglu for an investigation into the case of Khadija Ismailova. The first meeting of coordination group will be held on March 19th. <laughs>